A unique feature of DOE modes is that you can power cycle a device, and with some of them, trigger software reboots. In many cases, technologists will need to power cycle a system to put it into a known state. DOE modes has built in the ability for you as a user to control power with PoE, or power over Ethernet, managed switches and individual outlets on the most commonly used network-controlled power distribution units. Let's first take a look at a PoE managed switch. In this example, we will look at this Netgear switch that has IP cameras connected to it. Looking at the switch's interface tab, you can see that these IP cameras are PoE powered because the toggle button shows a power consumption number in it. Anytime a device utilizes PoE, DOE modes will recognize this consumption as seen by the managed switch and then give you power control of that device. If you click on the toggle button, you can turn off that device. After 30 seconds or so, you will notice that the device falls offline. You can then turn the device back on by clicking the toggle button again. This effectively provides you with a way to do a hard reboot of any PoE connected device. Another way to do a hard reboot is with a PDU or power distribution unit. The PDU must be controllable and connected to the network. In this scenario, we can look at a Surge X PDU. You may have noticed that with a managed switch, DOE modes automatically associated the network connected device with the port on the switch. For a PDU, you must manually associate the device to the outlet to which it is physically connected. DOE modes makes it easy to select a network connected device that it has discovered, but you can also add a label or connect a dummy device to an outlet as well. An example of a dummy device may be a projector or display that is not connected to the network, but where you may want the ability to do a hard reboot remotely. You will also notice that DOMOTES gives you the ability to turn on or off the device on a PDU outlet, as well as issue a power cycle command. This capability depends on the PDU and how it is configured. By pressing the power cycle or toggle button, you will be able to control the power to that device, and like before, issue a hard reboot to the device. Another feature that DOMOTES provides is the ability to issue a soft reboot, also known as a software reset. This capability is only available on some devices and is usually associated with audio, video, and consumer equipment. To show this, we will look at this Onkyo audio video receiver that is associated to this network. If you look at this device's info page, you will see that DOMOTES provides network mapping and power management details because it is a network device that is physically connected to a managed switch and is connected to a specific outlet on PDU number 2. As we scroll down a little further, we see details such as firmware and serial number information, but also actions that DOMOTES can apply to this device. It is possible here to issue a software reboot directly to this device. This is made possible by the manufacturer and because DOMOTES has enabled this feature. The ability to remotely reboot a device, whether it is a soft reboot via software or hard reboot through a power cycle, provides you with a way to rapidly resolve and diagnose problems remotely, saving you time and money.